People are full of antibodies. A lot of antibodies. These proteins are a vital part of the immune system. But just how the body makes such a variety of them mystified scientists for decades. The human immune system has to fight off an endless variety of bacteria, viruses and parasites. And for each invader, it needs a specific antibody. Luckily, it can generate billions of them, each slightly different, ready for any disease. But these antibodies, made from two light chains and two heavy chains, are proteins. And billions of different proteins should need billions of genes to make them. Humans have around 20,000 genes. The solution to this problem was a Nobel Prize-winning discovery. Antibodies are made by B cells. Like every other cell, B cells start off with the same 20,000 genes. But they also have an enzyme called RAG. RAG is a DNA shuffler. It targets the genes that make the antibodies binding site. There are three kinds of gene segments here, called V, D and J. For the heavy chain of the antibody, humans usually have around 130 different V segments, 27 D segments and 6 J segments. The RAG enzyme binds to one of the J segments at random and then to one of the D segments, chopping off the spare DNA between them. Other enzymes then join the ends together. The same thing happens with a random V segment. So you end up with a gene composed of one V, one D and one J joined together. This provides over 20,000 possible VDJ combinations for the heavy chain. The light chain can have another 400 possible gene combinations. Combining heavy and light chains gives approximately 8 million different possible antibodies, each with a different binding site. And that's not all. During the joining, extra DNA is added or removed at the junctions of the segments which takes our antibody diversity from the millions into the billions. This is how our immune system can respond to diseases it's never even seen before. In fact, there's so much diversity that one of our antibodies could potentially bind to almost any target in the whole universe.